Welcome, 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 everybody. A very, very, very good morning to all you soulful people. Welcome to our spiritual mornings, where we will unravel the course of our soul's journey. It's very imperative for all of us to understand that this is, for those of you who've been with me in any of the four trans life transformation series, let's understand this is a bit different. It's not about transforming our lives via writing blessings or affirmations or uh, anything to do with reflections. It's about delving in deeper into the soul journey. We all have heard that uh, we, we live in a mind, body and a soul world. But I also believe there's also a heart world. So with the mind, body, heart and soul, we will be going deeper into our journey to understand what is the soul journey all about. In the life transformation series, I was very clear that our cameras have to be on. But herein, I believe in the spiritual journey. Our spirit can't be seen. Of course, it can be felt. So if you feel the need to switch off your cameras and listen to the, to the session, it's absolutely on you. Though I definitely believe that when the cameras are on, the energy is higher. And I have one request for all of you, whoever is wherever. Uh, say some of you are choosing the offline sessions and you want to hear it later. So while you're hearing it later, either you sit straight with your back straight. So for that, the best thing would be to put a little cushion support in your lower back or sit in a chair where your lower back is kind of uh, supported. That way your spinal cord will be straight. Or if you're walking and listening, even that's perfect because at least your spinal cord is straight. This is for people who are listening to offline or without the camera mode on. So please just be a bit careful. Why? Because... Our energy travels from the Mooladhara, the root chakra, to a Sahasra chakra, the crown chakra. So for the energy movement to go up, if it's straight, it's always nicer. That would be one thing very, very imperative. We will have a few rituals and I will keep introducing them to you as and when time happens. These spiritual mornings, these soulful mornings are going to take us deeper into the Atma world to align us with where we are missing. A lot of us in a human life, we realize that uh, either there are there's a little lack of relationship that could be with yourself or with somebody outside, that we could be having uh, trouble financially, maybe to have money for ourselves or maybe for the family, or it, it's a lot about our health. These are the three main important factors of a human body, a human life. Now, when you delve into the Atma world, you realize many of us are carrying some traumas or some kind of energy in our body, which we're not able to shake off. And that is something at a soul level, a contract is done. These series will be spanning over 90 days, 120 days. We'll go with the flow. I haven't given a timeline to this because it's lovely to just flow with the entire thing and then see what's coming up. Uh, in the life transformation series, we used to have assignments where you had to submit the assignments, upload them, and you know you had a tracker. But in here, wherever, whatever is coming our way, we will just uh, practice those practices because it's all about 
evolving and learning to be a better version of ourselves and realizing why we are how we are so that's very important nothing is preset it's all going to be uh, going with the flow all of us are channels for love and light so please just understand this now for the second most important part today is the 1st of august today is also a very powerful month as it's a super moon and this august 2023 will make us see two super moons and that is very very rare a phenomena so a lot of cosmic events are unfolding in this particular month mm -hmm. uh, the full moon right now is in aquarius and uh, but the sun is in leo we are in the month of august it's in leo so now the ferocious energies of the lion the leo are going to be prevalent in all of us which means we may be itchy we may be irritable we may be misunderstood or we may misunderstand there may be quarrels or there may be a lot of uh, animosity within the families or within you so please now that you know that this is how the generic behavior is do not let this overpower you so for women you know when P women pms they are irritable and something's happened but when you know that you're pms you're a little careful similarly here don't let these energies overpower you whenever they're happening just close your eyes and listen inwards Le let's learn to listen inwards we have an atma which is always forever guiding us but we don't listen to it listen to your elders listen to people around you and then make a decision do not react learn to respond especially in this particular month when the energies are so high the minute the first week is over of august we step on the 88 portal the 8th august is bringing in the 88 portal which is absolutely midway of this particular moon cycle Seven days before, seven days after. So you have full moon and new moon. So those of you who have been associated with me, we know about new beginnings, right? We know about surrender. So you, we know how these moon energies work. I'm a moonologist. I'm mm -hmm. also a numerologist. So I believe a lot in numbers. I believe a lot in the moon. Mother Moon is full of emotions. So we must understand that this eight eight portal will bring us a lot of um, energy to manifest. and to surrender so what is this month all about in fact not only this month this amazing august is going to open and the portals are going to be open till 31st of december 2023 which means from now until the end we definitely can talk about manifesting and surrendering so it's a lot about release when we in the soul journey what will we be doing releasing a lot of traumas that our soul has held for not only this life but past lives so soul world means a lot of regression past life and progression future lives we are going to be here working on the karmic cleansing now we all know or we may know that karma is or karm in hindi kisi ko bhi karm hona nahi chahiye good or bad karma we should not have karma when we are free of karma that's when our enlightenment or our mukti or our ascension happens so we'll be releasing and manifesting a lot of it uh for this what do we have to do try and clear our mind have clear goals have clarity that oh these are the vices in me these are the good things in me these are some things i want to drop for example if you have anger issues or you know you're short tempered or say you are holding on to grudges then it's time to release them you think you have something great a creative streak in you you want to grow them it's time to grow them so what do we do in in this process keep writing keep churning our thoughts manthan atma manthan keep burning and releasing why do i use this word burn uh, in a in hindu culture the last thing of a human body is panch tatva se aate hain panch tatva mein jaate hain we burn we cremate similarly agar aapke kuch negatives hain ya aapke kuch positives hain you can write them down how we want to write them down i'll explain to you in the next 2 3 minutes say if you want to affirm that i i i am powerful i listen to people very beautifully and i i'm decisive when the right decisions come to me at the right time and i whatever uh, your manifestation is this is what i believe is true for me and this is what i manifest however i believe there's a there's father universe sitting and knows something this or something higher better will unfold for me knowing this i release my these manifestations Now the minute you release them and you burn them and you put them in your paid pauda or anywhere in the universe or you just throw them around, what happens is your rigidity, 
you know, I, I have to have this, I have to have this, that fades. Now when that fades, you're no longer going to be, mujhe chahiye, chahiye, chahiye. Because if you remember fussy child, you know, zid a jati hai. Zid and manifestation are bohat farak hai. When you are going to be a little cranky, you will not get what you want. But when you're full of love and you believe and you trust the process, you'll manifest whatever you want. Now releasing is also a very important part of this ceremony. Releasing will be in a different paper. Manifesting will be in a different paper. When you release, say if you are short-tempered and you say, I hear on release my short temper or hear on release all the karmic baggages that my soul is carrying knowingly or unknowingly, you write them down and you release them with closed eyes after burning them that I did not know that I'm holding on to so much of negativity. And this negativity was manifesting in maybe my relationships with money, with myself, with people or anything else. And I release them all so that I can be a healthy person in my life and the lives of others, so that I can do the, the deeds that I was meant to do in this life at this point of time, which I probably have overlooked. And learn to write in that, I am willing to forgive. Because what is this word forgive? If you see the word, if you break it into two, forgive. But what do we think? How can I forgive that person did so much wrong to me? But until you give, you do not get. So you have to learn to give. What do you for this forgiveness is only for ourselves, it's not for a person. If we are holding on to some thought, we are not being able to forgive, and that is going to be a negative fact for us and for others. So learn to forgive so that you can get forget. Very, very important for these. So understand these. Do not take decisions this month or till December, as I said, because the portals are open for anything hastily. Think about them, ponder about them, and then they take your decisions because that is very, very imperative. So please understand these. I've spoken to you about the relevance of this particular month. I've spoken to you about the relevance until December. And now let's start with our morning rituals, which is going to be gratitude for sure. And gratitude mostly for our Atma, for our Masters. So when I say, let's open our arms wide, we all open them like this. Like, you know, as if we are hugging the universe as wider or however. So right now, let's all close our eyes. And uh, I let you know, uh, you don't have to open your arms right now, Scotchy. I'll let you all know. Just uh, give you a heads up. So let's close our eyes. Fold our hands if required or keep them on your laps however you want. Let's all be grateful for this beautiful body that we're seated in. For all that, because this body has been chosen by our Atma for fulfilling its purpose in this life. And while the Atma chose his body, let's be thankful to the masters, angels, guardians, and guides who guided our soul to choose this body, this life, this continent, this parent, the surroundings, the ambience that we live in. They're all destined for a purpose. While we understand that it's all destined, we also know that we can create the life that we intend to. I know the gratitude is the biggest multiplier. Let's be immensely grat grateful to our universe for all the cosmical, magical, spiritual things that are unfolding. Let's be grateful to our mind the subconscious mind which joins the Atma in its journey in our being that helps us tap into our past life and our future life as well and enables us to live a quality life now, here and forever. Let's be very grateful to our parents who actually brought us on this earth, whether they are living with us or whether they're living in heavens above, Let's be grateful for all that they've done for us, whether we are aware or not, knowing that each parent always does the best for their child. Let's be absolutely grateful for everything that they've done for us. Let's shower them with love by just wishing them, saying them, saying to them that I love you. So imagine your dad and your mom in front of you 
If you touch the feet, that's fine. If you hug them, that's fine. However you wish to express your love, just express your love for them in this given moment. Be grateful for the love, the blessings that you are showered upon. All this ha is happening in your etheric body right now. So be aware of it. Go one step forward and be grateful to your grandparents, whether you knew them or you didn't. But a generation of elders that have been there in your family, the reason why there are values, whether you like them or not, be grateful for your grandparental love. Whether you were admonished, whether you were loved, or whether you were blessed, just be grateful for their presence in the universal world or the real world. Let's be grateful for a heart forever expanding. Our heart holds a lot of misgivings, a lot of love. Let's expand the love. And let's surrender the misgivings. Let's be thankful to our soul for having chosen our this body. And the reason why we are tuned into these sessions is because the soul wants us to learn, to grow. Some things that we have forgotten is going to be reminded to us during these sessions because we are all channels of knowledge, of learning. With these beautiful thoughts, take two minutes and thank anybody or anything that you wish you wish to thank. It could be your partners, your surroundings, Maybe it's quiet now, right now, because your staff isn't working or your family chooses for you to be in the quiet. So be tuned into that. Be grateful for that. And even if there is noise, be grateful that there is a family around you or there are beings around you. And end your gratitude morning with Thank you, thank you, thank you. When we say thank you thrice, we're expanding ourselves in a world of possibilities because three is the number of creation. And now let's expand our hands wide and say to the universe, I am ever ready, open and receptive for all the magical synchronicities that are coming in my life at this very moment. I understand and embrace them all, knowing that I am at the right point, ready to receive. And I openly welcome all the blessings. Feel the light energy entering your body in every part of your being, as if you are blessed in every pore, every inch, every atom. Bring your hands together. Bow down. Rub your hands together, feel the energy, the warmth. When you feel warm enough, you can cover your entire body, beginning with your face, your eyes, your shoulders, your arms, your chest, your back, your abdomen, your lower back, your legs front and back. And open your eyes with a feeling of gratitude and a smile. So these grateful mornings are very important for a spiritual journey. And what are we going to do in this spiritual journey? I am personally grateful to Dr. Brian Weiss because it was I was guided in my meditation to unravel the mysteries with him. Some of the books you might find that they're a bit repetitive, but repetition is a key for magnificence. When we keep seeing something, when we keep understanding, then we start believing in it and we start evolving. Today, I am guided to start this very beautiful book, which I'm going to now share with all of you. It's Messages from the Masters. It's a very beautiful book. I've already shared the PDF with all of you on the WhatsApp group. So that's how we're going to be starting. And there is, there's no particular flow to any of our book sessions, but 
whatever we are guided, we will be doing that. Of course, when we start one book, we will complete that book. It could be that uh, I am guided to start another Dr. Brian's uh, book while this uh, the first book is un uh, you know unraveling, and that should be all right. Assignments would be pertaining to how we conceive our theory, our practicals, and our knowledge and our takeaways. There will be always meditations in every single session. And these meditations would help us evolve on a physical level, on an etheric level, on an emotional level. So let's understand that emotions are energy in motion. Wherever we are putting energy into any single thought or thing, that is going to start moving. So in this journey, manifestation and surrender would be a very important part because today is the first, today is a super moon. So today's meditation will be more about the super moon, more about manifesting, more about surrendering. But this is our mantra until the 31st December 2023, whether we are in the sessions or whether we are not. Of course, if there are any questions any one of you can have, you can even uh, directly message those questions to me or you're free to share them on the group or however you fish. If you want to speak to me, uh, please just message and we'll fix up an appointment and we, we will be connecting as well. Uh, how these sessions have always worked in the past when we've had book reading is, I've requested for a volunteer to read. If the volunteer is comfortable to read, she or he can read. And it doesn't have to be the same volunteer every day. Different volunteers can also come in. And I tend to explain them. But if nobody wants to read, I am very happy to read. So I'm just going to ask anybody if they want to volunteer to read, you can raise your hands so that you can read. And I can just come in the middle and let you know that this is a time I want to explain. So if there's anybody here who wants to read, please raise your hand. Otherwise, I'll start in the next one minute. Acknowledgements are very important. If you see on the left-hand side, the acknowledgements for the author and his people who have always supported him in this journey. So that's how we also began our morning with gratitude. So today's session, I'm going to start reading. Chapter one on your right-hand side. I hope the screen is visible to everybody. And on your right-hand side, you can see the beginning. And today is also a new beginning. Uh, it's this amazing August, it's a super moon, and we are also beginning our journey of understanding our soul, our spirit. A lot of people have asked, what is spirituality? And when I was meditating one day in 2020, and I asked this question, and my answer that I got, got was, spirituality is broken in spirit's actual reality. So what is your spirit's actual reality? You will know as you go in this journey deep down in your soul world. So the beginning, our task is to learn to become godlike through knowledge. We know so little. By knowledge, we approach God and then we can rest. Then we come back to teach and help others. For those of you meeting me for the first time, a few words of introduction are needed. I have come a long way from the factful, fateful day when I, a classically trained physician, professor of psychiatry, and confirmed skeptic, realized that human life is grander and more profound than ever than even in my rigorous medical training had led me to believe. Educated as an academic, I received my undergraduate degree from Columbia University and my medical degree from the Yale University of Medicine. Yale School, University School of Medicine, where I was also the chief resident in psychiatry. I have been on the teaching faculties of several university medical schools, and for 11 years, I served as chairman of the Department of Psychiatry at Mount Sinai Medical Center in Miami Beach, Florida. By the time I first met Catherine, the patient whose story is told in my first book, Many Lives, Many Masters, I had published more than 40 scientific papers and book chapters, and I had received international recognition in the fields of psychopharmacology and brain chemistry. Not surprising, I was completely skeptical of unscientific fields such as parapsychology, and I knew nothing about the concept of past lives or reincarnation, nor did I want to. So in our Hinduism, I think everybody believes that we are reincarnated, that a soul just changes body. Atma is always there. It's never dying. It's just moving from one body to another, another body to another. How this journey happens is something that we will also be learning as and when this course unfolds. And then came my sudden and shocking introduction to spiritual, the right brain, the non-linear. Catherine 
inexplicably began recalling what seemed to be past life memories. Somehow, all of the clinical symptoms improved by this regression process. I was amazed, but I was also beginning to find the harmony between science and intuition. Okay, one of you wants me to highlight. So this is what I'm reading. Okay. The process, this process began 20 years ago. And since then, I have regressed more than 2,000 more patients to perinatal in, in utero or past life memories. So perinatal in utero will be more about when you're in the womb of your mother. And that's when also you're carrying a lot of memories. And of course, past life that you have lived. I have already written three books about these experiences and the books have been translated into nearly 30 languages. Because my work deals with the themes of reincarnation, past life regression therapy, and the union of soulmates, the reunion of soulmates, I have become the unofficial dean of reincarnation. I welcome this characterization because I believe we do reincarnate until we learn our lessons and graduate. And as I have repeatedly pointed out, there is a considerable historical and clinical evidence that reincarnation is a reality. So some of you know me from Life Transformation Series and from other sessions that we used to have in the morning and evening would know that I believe a lot in past life regression and we have done that and that's also an online session. And I have seen myself 10 lives of mine and believe you me, six lives are blueprints of others. Even though my country changed, my religion changed, the era that I lived in changed. I had the same life repeated again and again, because when we come on Mother Earth, we forget what we have come for. And we go in the rut lane of living our life with maybe opulence or maybe whatever. And we forget the very asked for the purpose why we have reincarnated, which is the reason Dr. Brian Weiss says that we learn our lessons and graduate. Until we do that, we keep reincarnating. So even if you are going through a huge thing in your life. The reason why you're going through that is because you have to learn a lesson from it. Somebody cheated, uh, cheated you. And you're like, you know, this person is so unethical. He or she has cheated me and I can't forgive him or her. Now, the reason you have to understand is we talked about forgiveness. The more you give, the more you get. So you have to understand why has that person cheated you? What is the lesson you've learned? It could be most likely it is that you have cheated somebody in this life or the past life and karma comes back like in a circle. So understand the lesson from that. Let go, forgive and then move on and see what is there. So for this, what I believe is uh, journaling is a beautiful tool. Whenever we have a life situation where somebody has done something to us, our mind plays thousand games. So if we'll be stuck in that loop, We'll never be able to get out of it. But writing gives you clarity. When I write, I scribble also at times and I also highlight. So it's very important that we understand our life purpose. We understand the life lessons that we are meant to learn. So if, if we have a sickness, if you're sick in the body, or if somebody's done something untowards towards you, so please understand we are here to learn something out of it. If we don't learn, will keep repeating. The thing will keep ha happening to you and you'll say, Mere hi aisa hota hai? Kyunki aapne wo lesson nahi sikha hai. So it's very important to do that. Dr. Brian West says, and as I have repeatedly pointed out, there is considerable historical and clinical evidence that reincarnation is a reality. But this book, which reflects what I teach my patients and audiences today, is about much more than reincarnation and regression therapy. There are important parts of the puzzle, but there are also other important pieces and one must know them all and know them well. I studied healers, mediums, psychics and others involved in holistic and alternative practices. And I have learned that there are other avenues to one's spiritual awakening. Now, spiritual awakening is a very beautiful chapter and I'm going to take a session on this maybe on Saturday or maybe on Thursday, we can fix up a day where we learn something and we talk about healing ourselves. So maybe that day we can have a longer session on 
talks which are not to do with books and they are to do with healing, right? So it's very important that we understand spiritual awakening has six phenomena. Six stages of spiritual awakening. In your stage, when we talk about this, you will realize that day that, okay, I am in this stage. And for that day, I will request you to probably bring a, a, a notebook and a pen so you can start writing and analyzing which stage are you in and what is happening to you. So this would be definitely in another day, but I'm just saying that a spiritual awakening is beautiful and it can happen at any age. This book represents the culmination of 20 years of experience and studies, and not only with the incarnation, but in movement known as new age. It is my attempt to remind you about love and joy and to teach you how to bring these qualities into your life now while you're in a physical state. So, Atma ka kya, can anyone tell me, maybe on a message, what is the role of Atma in our life? Of course, Atma nahi hai, to nishpran ho jata hai, we become lifeless, even the Atma leaves us. But what is the Atma playing a huge role in our life? And Atma is all about unconditional love that everybody realizes. And Atma has had its own journey with a lot of ups and downs. But one thing which is common in the world of love is love. And that's the Atma world. So Atma is equal to love. And when you connect with your higher self, your soul, your Atma, love and joy are the languages that you will start speaking. And the minute you start speaking that language, your physical body, your etheric body will all change the dynamics will change and you will become a much happier person. Dr. Brian Weiss says, you will learn techniques for achieving levels of inner peace and happiness that may be lacking in your present lives. You will find a great deal of material about the nature of the soul, about immortality and about values. There are many practical tips and techniques for transforming your life, your relationships, your moods and mental states, your physical health and well-being and your destiny. Knowledge of past lives is not necessary to achieve these positive changes. The ultimate key is understanding. Now, if you see the word understanding, under is below, standing is standing. Aap kis ke upar khade ho? Kis foundation ke upar khade? Jab wo samaj jaoge, to life will become so much more easier. As you understand your true nature, and your true purpose, your life will be permanently transformed and then you can begin to transform the world. So some people will say my purpose is to be a great mother, a great father, a great son, a great daughter, daughter-in-law, wife, husband, whatever, 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 or to bring my business to this level. Let me let you know, these are, are not purposes. These are our duties and our goals. Our purpose is very different. Our purpose is our soul's purpose and a soul is very expansive and a soul is uh, today I'm going to share a very beautiful note on the whatsapp group it's the difference between ego that is I me myself and soul if you read that you'll be able to understand that there is a difference in purpose of course most of you know that it's different but my uh, job as a channel as your um spokesperson here is just to let you know again and again what we are lacking. Our purpose will be completely changed once we actually understand what is our purpose. And when that happens, you will become larger than life. Sirf apne hi nahi, aap ke liye bhi, unconditionally, you'll start becoming a channel. Dr. Brian Weiss says, my life has been changing the same way. Past lives are still a significant concept and value for me, but understanding, experiencing, and expressing love, joy, inner peace in my everyday life have become more significant. I am opened my mind. Uh, I am extremely grateful that Catherine came into my office on that fateful day and opened my mind to the concept of past lives as this became the avenue to my personal awakening. And this awakening led to spiritual growth and understanding. So, you know, kabhi bhi koi bhi nimit matra ban sakta hai, madhyam ban sakta hai, aapki jagrupta ke liye, aapki awakening ke liye. You know, some, something may just click and you're like, okay, this was a breakthrough for me. How that happens is absolutely magical. 
coming back to this book. All right. A striking and important feature of Catherine's regressions was her ability, while being deeply hypnotized, to channel or transmit details and accurate information from higher sources of knowledge. These higher sources of knowledge are what I have many times said. Angels, hai, guardians, your soul, masters. Hai. Unke through, aapko, you know, once you become a channel, download hoti hai. And this will happen with a lot of you. It's not like it's happening just with Dr. Brian Weiss or me or 10,000 others. It will happen with a lot of you. The material has been inspiring and life transforming to many thousands of people from all over the planet. Catherine contributed, attributed the source of this wisdom to the masters, highly evolved souls, not in the physical form. They told her wise and wonderful things and she relayed this information to me. After emerging from the hypnotic state, Catherine could remember many details from the past lives she had just experienced, but she never remembered anything about her contact with these masters because the messages from the masters were transmitted through her and did not originate from her memory. So, you know, we say, I not We are just tools, we are just nimit matras, we are just channels. So, it's very important to give them the credit. Uh, uh, for some of us who know, uh, rishi ki mein humne suna hoga. The, these seven rishis, they are ready to give us the knowledge we want when we are ready. Kisi logo ne Baba ji ki mein suna hoga. They, talk, they say he is a walking shiva. Anybody who is ready to become a little spiritual or enlightened, he comes and blesses you with the knowledge. In fact, Pratima ji was with us. We had done this beautiful book called Unified. It's also on the YouTube channel. It's a 24-week course. And we've done that for 24 weeks, six months. It was beautiful. All of us had a complete change of our being. It was just, I had never done the book. We had done it all with I told them, I don't know. And I was completely a channel. So whatever came, downloads happened during the session as channels. They were, it's magical how these masters talk to us. Anyway, in letters and at seeking engagements, I am regularly besieged with requests for more messages from the masters. Have you heard more? Or are you still in contact with them? What more have you learned? The answer is yes. The answer is this book. Through other patients, my travels and my own meditation, I have learned so much more. In addition, it has become clear that you need to understand at a deeper level what has already been provided. Thus, key messages from my earlier books have been partially reproduced here in italics at the beginning of each chapter and sometimes within the chapter. In knitting together the old and the new, I have now become aware that an entire spiritual philosophy has been gently unfolded and handed to me. At its center is love. I believe that we as humans are ready to embrace it. A lot of us say that I love very unconditional love. Karta hun ya karti hun. But really, is that true? We love our children. We love our parents. We love our partners. We love our, our, our. There are very few of us who can say, I love every human on this planet. There are very few of us who can say, I have never been angry with anyone. Or I have never been angry with anyone. I have never been angry with anyone. They are definitely much above us and they are unconditional in their love. But Dr. Weiss says, especially over the past 30 years, we have been researching for stability by reviving ancient wisdom as if the sheer volume of our scientific and technological advances has thrown us out of balance. This is what you will understand that we are seeing the Mahabharat and Ramayan. There were spaceships there, Tab, they were beautiful tools. Ab wo cheez man invent kar, apni ancient wisdom ko. So when they connect back with the ancient wisdom, spiritually a lot of stuff will also come back to us. Pehle ke time pe suna hai, Pandavs were living for 800 years, 1000 years. But kahi na kahi, as human beings kept losing their touch, they started saying that lifespan to 60, 70, 80, 90 saal ki hoti hai. Maximum 100 saal ki hoti hai. Words have coined kare satya gaye hai. Why? Because we started believing lifespan is shorter. But the same us, if we start believing that lifespan is as long as we want to live, 
our life will change. And when we think that, a lot of new stuff is going to happen in our life. Dr. Weiss again says, Fortunately, we have our we have also been distilling this old wisdom to discard outdated superstitions and myths. Our consciousness has finally evolved into accepting this filtered wisdom of the ages. We are swimming in a sea of new age, holistic and spiritual awareness that seems to have flooded over the dams of old beliefs and constricted consciousness. Constricted consciousness is very important to understand. हम सब कॉन्शियस हैं अबाउट हाउ वे लिविंग बट कहीं ना कहीं हमने बैरियर्स बांधे हुए हैं इतना करना है इतना करना है तो वी आर कंस्ट्रिक्टेड अ कॉन्शियसनेस इज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव जितना हम चाहें उतना हम सीख सकते हैं जितना हम चाहें उतना हम गैदर कर सकते हैं लेकिन हमने कहीं ना कहीं अपने ऊपर लाइन्स बनाई हुई हैं द एविडेंस इज एवरी न्यू थाट इज बिकमिंग मेन स्ट्रीम द नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हेल्थ इज फंडिंग साइंस studies in acupuncture herbal medicine medicine hypnosis and altered states of consciousness insurance companies are covering alternative and complementary healing techniques all line advertising com- companies are promoting commercial products with international campaigns that feature reincarnation as selling tool movies and television programs trumpet new age themes to millions of interested viewers why is this happening for several hundred years people have mistakenly believed the technology once fully recovered would resolve the ills of mankind that science would provide the path out of the woods away from illness poverty misery and pain i don't know how many of you believe this but agar hum chahe to hum poverty misery pain illness sab hata sakte hain In fact, uh, there's a beautiful book, unbelievable, uh, incredibly unbelievable, Dr. Sunny Satin. It's been clearly told that the disease will not be in the future. In the future, in the future in the Our bodies will be automatically regenerated. If you have a liver, you will regenerate yourself. There's another very beautiful book about healing techniques by Blossom. It's been told that how a lady is lying down शीज डॉक्टर ने जवाब दे दिया शी इज अबाउट टू डाई एंड शी कैन सी द एंजल मास्टर्स गार्डियंस एवरीबडी इज ऑपरेटिंग ऑन अ बॉडी शी कैन सी कि मेरा बेटा बहू मेरा पोता मेरा हसबेंड सब बाहर ग्राइंड में बैठे शी कैन हियर द कॉम्पिटिशन बट शी इज ऑल्सो नोइंग कि मेरा एक ऑपरेशन मेरा सर्जरी चल रही है एंड दे आर मूविंग दिस पार्ट ऐसे पार्ट हटा रहे हैं नया पार्ट लगा रहे हैं एज इफ जैसे आप कोई मशीन को ठीक करते हो हर बॉडी इज बींग री इन्वेंटेड बाय द एंजल गार्डियंस and then she gets up and she comes and she walks to the drawing room and they like all shocked because she was in a wheelchair she couldn't walk she needed support and like, how did you get up and she's like this is what happened with me and she says let's go for a scan and they went for a scan and there was no cancer so why because her emotional body her etheric body was healed so things can heal kai bar aapne dekha hoga ki aapko chot lag jati hai but if you touch that area and you bless that area ki सब ठीक है सब ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू यू नो एंड यू जस्ट कीप बीइंग ग्रेटफुल यू रियलाइज कि वहां जो इतना चोट लगी थी वो फ्रैक्चर नहीं है अब ठीक हो गया बिकॉज इट्स ऑल टू डू विद स्पिरिचुअलिटी आत्मा गाइडिंग टैपिंग इनटू योर एनर्जी ऑफ हीलिंग सो पॉवर्टी मिजरी तो आराम से चला ही जाएगा राइट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड फर्दर वी नाउ नो दैट द टेक्नोलॉजी एंड साइंस अलोन आर नॉट केपेबल ऑफ सॉल्विंग आवर प्रॉब्लम्स technology can be used for good or for bad purposes only when used with enlightenment wisdom and balance can technology truly help us we must find the right balance love is the full crown of this balance when people have intense spiritual experiences the energy of love is nearly always evoked this form of love is unconditional absolute and transcendent it is like a pulse of pure energy an energy that also possesses powerful attributes such as wisdom compassion timelessness and sublime consciousness love is the most basic and pervasive energy that exists it is a sense of our being and of our universe 
Love is a fundamental building block of nature connecting and unifying all things, all people. Love is more than a goal, more than a fuel, more than an ideal. Love is our nature. We are love. I hope this line is something that we all understand. It's pure magic. Love is a very important building block for our own nature. Ke liye. जो हमें सब चीजों से कनेक्ट करता है लोगों से चीजों से अपने आप से लव एक गोल नहीं है लव एक फ्यूल है लव आइडियल है लव हमारी नेचर है जिसको शायद हम भूल गए हैं वी आर मेड ऑफ लव अगर हमारे बॉडी में लव नहीं होता तो दो एटम्स आपस में बॉन्ड करके एक सेल्स कैसे बनाते लव इज अ लैंग्वेज आवर बॉडी रॉक्स अबाउट एंड दैट्स हाउ वी आर बिल्ट I hope that this book will teach you how to recognize love, how to cultivate and enlarge your experiences of love, especially towards yourself and in relationships, and how to manifest and radiate your love to others. By doing so, you will inevitably experience more joy, more health, more happiness in your life. Love is the ultimate healer. in the near future some attributes of its energy will indeed be studied scientifically will be quantified measured and understood other attributes will remain mysterious transcendent and beyond measurement fortunately when the energy of love is deeply felt its healing effects are experienced whether or not it is measured or understood doesn't matter hum healing energy ko मेजर कर रहे हैं कि नहीं कि मेरी चोट इतनी ठीक हुई कि नहीं मेरी रिलेशनशिप इतना बेटर हुआ कि नहीं अगर आप लव को एक्सपैंड करने देंगे तो आपको अपनी एनर्जी में ड्रामेटिक फर्क दिखेगा फिजिसिस्ट नो दैट एवरीथिंग इज एनर्जी न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब्स आर बिल्ड बेस्ड अपॉन टेक्निक्स ऑफ एनर्जी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड रिलीज हर्बल एंड ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन वर्क बिकॉज ऑफ एनर्जी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इंड्यूस्ड एट द सेल्यूलर लेवल सेल्यूलर लेवल मतलब उन औषधियों का भी जो ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन होती हैं जड़ी बूटियां होती हैं उनमें क्वालिटीज होती हैं जब उनको मिलाते हैं और हमें देते हैं ह्यूमन बींग्स को तो क्वालिटीज हमारे अंदर आती हैं एंड एक सेल्यूलर लेवल पे एटमिक लेवल पे हीलिंग होती है ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन होती है एंड वो रोग बाहर निकल जाता है दीज आर ऑल वॉट वी अंडरस्टैंड वर्ल्ड ऑफ एनर्जी एंड लव द रिजल्ट आर वास्टली डिफरेंट but the underlying mechanisms are the same energy transformations so hum sab ki bhi energy badal jayegi jab hum morning mein 5 baje uthenge 6 baje sessions mein aayenge and roz padhenge about so many beautiful magical things jiske bare mein shayad hame pata tha lekin hum bhul gaye the these are like reminders to us then our equation will change with ourselves and with others the energy of love is potentially more powerful than any bomb and am more subtle than any herb we just have not yet learned how to harness this most basic and most pure energy when we do healing at all levels individual and planetary can occur now please understand the word inon likha individual to hoga hi planetary bhi occurrence hogi kyun aaj hum jitne bhi log yahan par hain हमारी कॉन्शियसनेस ग्रो करेगी तो हमारे आसपास का सराउंडिंग सर्कल है वहां हम उस कॉन्शियसनेस को स्प्रेड करेंगे चाहे हम वेव्स की तरह करें जो दिख भी नहीं पा रही बट फील हो पा रही है सबके मूड्स बदलेंगे उनके साथ बदलेंगे सो वॉट्सिफेक्ट सो डोमिन इफेक्ट दिस विल बी हैपनिंग प्रायर टू दिस बुक आई हैव डिस्क्राइब द फिनोमिनोलॉजी the characteristics of various metaphysical experiences reincarnation nature of soul healers healing psychic events mediumistic abilities the near death and after death experiences and the incredible wisdom of the beings who appear to exist on the other side now is the opportunity to understand to experience the energy that is common to all and connects all these experiences and you will be able to remove the blocks the obstacles to your peace your joy your happiness so jab hum is book mein aage evolve honge isi book mein not only aage wali books mein hamari jo bhi blockages hain jo bhi badhaaye hain obstacles hain jisse hame inner joy love ya peace ya happiness nahi mil raha hai 
वो भी डिजोल्व होनी शुरू हो जाएंगी सो हाउ ब्यूटिफुल ना हीलिंग इज गेली लेवल आर सोल्स आर ऑलवेज ड्रॉन टू वर्ड्स लव वेन यू ट्रूली कॉम्प्रीहेंड द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट लव इज इन ऑल इन कंपेसिंग एनर्जी whose healing pulse can quickly transform our bodies our mind our soul i will add our hearts then we will transcend a chronic pain and ills kisi bhi bimari ko cross kar sakte hain kisi bhi vyatha ko hum cross kar sakte hain why because we'll be going further and further in this magical world ab is book ko hum sirf padh hi nahi rahe kisi bhi book ko padhna is okay पर उस बुक को इम्प्लीमेंट करना जीना इज वॉट इज द आसार और द एसेंस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर थीम ऑफ आवर्स सो इस पर्टिकुलर बुक को मैसेज फ्रॉम मास्टर्स कैसे हम इम्प्लीमेंट करेंगे आइए समझते हैं इन द सेक्शन कॉल्ड हाउ टू यूज दिस बुक इट इज वाइटल टू कैरी योर लॉजिकल रैशनल माइंड ऑन दिस जर्नी टू एक्सेप्ट एवरीथिंग विदाउट रिफ्लेक्शन contemplation and thoughtfulness would be just as foolish as rejecting everything in the same manner science is the art of observing carefully with an unbiased non prejudicially eye i have tried to do that i have encountered some extremely talented people psychics mediums healers and others and i have encountered even more who have limited talent or skill and are mostly opportunists i've spent many years learning and applying the scientific method using my skeptical mind is all and my skeptical mind is always on alert passing all my experiences through the scientific filter but i have also been careful not to throw the baby out with the bath water one person or one experience might be disappointing but the next might be truly extraordinary and should not be discounted because of previous events I've written this book to give back a little of that which has already been given to me. I pondered how important another book could be. After all, I've already written three, and there is so much to digest in those. And spiritual guidance books seems to be everywhere these days. What would another book add? Teaching is such an individual process. I remembered. dependent on style timing personal preferences values and so many other factors other people in books or seminars or for example may tell you similar things but perhaps in a different way even though there may be one truth many approaches exist to this truth yet the answer is always the same the truth did not change it does not mean that one teacher is better than the other and the methods and the philosophy of that teacher is superior just different and that is all what works for you is fine and that what does not work for you will work for someone else we are all going to the same place what does it mean by going to the same place ultimately jana bhai hai na evolve ho ke we have to go up in the heavens above so aap ye rasta pakad rahe ho ye pakad rahe ho ye pakad rahe ho kya philosophy kya method which teacher it doesn't matter बट काम करने के लिए हम सबके पास है वॉट वर्क लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड माई पाथ टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग मोर अबाउट अ स्पिरिचुअल नेचर केम थ्रू मेनी इयर्स ऑफ आर्डुअस अकेडमिक स्टडी कलमिनेटिंग इन माई मेडिकल ट्रेनिंग साइकाइट्रिक स्पेशलाइजेशन एंड सेवरल डेकेड्स ऑफ पोस्ट अकेडमिक एक्सपीरियंसिस एंड क्लिनिकल स्टडीज दिस हैज बिन माई पाथ others may reach a similar path by having a powerful spontaneous and overwhelming experience such as nde which is also near death experience still others might reach this level using a single technique such as practice of meditation over a longer period of time this may be their path there are many roads to enlightenment together we can explore them our beliefs can be altered by the power and immediacy of personal experiences you can begin to understand something when you experience its essence your belief becomes annoying agar hame essence malum pad jaye kisi cheez ka to hum usko better experience kar sakte hain hamara vishwas kai baar hota na hame vishwas karne ke liye chahiye ye kaise hua ye kaise hua jab hamara wo sab khatam ho gaya stage aur hame vishwas ho gaya to fir hame pata chal jata hai ki ha ye to aisa hai i believe in it then it becomes annoying 
it's not enough just to read about the concepts presented here or to rely exclusively on the experience of others, those presented examples or illustrations of the concepts. Therefore, throughout this book, there are exercises and various techniques to enhance your own experiences, to help to transform you directly. For many years, I have advised my patients to keep a dream journal, jotting them down of dreams as soon as possible after awakening. With a little practice, dream recall is significantly enhanced. And the more details are remembered and recorded, the easier it becomes to analyze the dream accurately. The same is true with meditation and visualization. As you try these exercises, you may find it a useful practice to write down or to journal your thoughts, feelings, observations, and experiences. As with dreams, the more you journal, the easier it becomes for you to remember and to process the details of your experiences. Journaling is a very important part of evolution. But it's very important to write. My Nanima is 87. You have no idea. Because she says that's the best way for her to attain spirituality. So, Samajna is different. Writing ke is very important. Baat se, and I always say this, and I'm, today I'm going to repeat again. For those of you uh, who've heard it, it's a repetition. For those of you who are new, these three are used to write. A pencil se likho, pen se likho, ya uh, aapke digital pen se likho, these three are used. What is this? Thumbs up, God, Bhagwan. What is this? Ahem, ego. What is this? Intellect, buddhi. When intellect, when God, when ego comes together and you write something, you're writing it in a unseen energy sector. You're giving things a reality, a shape. There is a drawing in your mind. Do you understand what is a drawing in your mind? मैंने बोला मेरे दिमाग में ड्राइंग है पर अगर मैं वो ड्राइंग को पेपर पे उतार दूं आपको दिखाऊं तो यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड पिक्चर्स स्पीक लाउडर देन वर्ड्स हमने ये बात सुनी है सो so, इसलिए लिखना इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नो मैटर हाउ ओल्ड और यंग यू आर राइटिंग इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो प्लीज स्टार्ट जर्नलिंग स्पेशली इफ यू वांट टू गो डीपर इन योर स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड प्रैक्टिसिंग दिस टेक्निक्स has been difficult for me. So I can tell you from experience not to get frustrated. Progress may seem quite slow. I find myself getting lazy, not meditating for weeks at a time before I'm reminded to resume the practice. I still fall into the ruts and potholes of life, swept away at times by pride or envy or insecurity. We are all human and life is hard. Frustration is normal and a common reaction. We're not a patient species. Uh, I think you all agree with this. I have been in spirituality for many years. But every time in life, there are problems in life. And again and again and again, aap, you know, you go into some kind of a rut. This problem came, that problem came. Or I started meditation, so it was good, then there are problems. This is normal. We will do meditation, meditation will come, meditation will come. This is normal. So it's it's okay to don't judge yourself. Ki main in kar di na, ye Jab jago tab savera, now start meditating. It doesn't matter. You stop journaling, now start journaling. You stop writing gratitude, now start. Jab, kabhi bhi dere, dere nahi hoti. Dr. Vai says, as I've mentioned in the direction that matters, not the speed. If you are evolving into a more loving, more compassionate, less violent person, then you are moving in the right direction. आपकी खुद की एनर्जी आपको बताएगी कि आप कहां जा रहे हैं लाइक मी यू मे हैव बिकम डिस्ट्रैक्टेड मेक रॉन्ग टर्न्स अ टाइम लॉस्ट अंटिल यू फाइंड द राइट वे बैक इट मे सीम एज इफ यू आर टेकिंग टू स्टेप्स फॉरवर्ड एंड देन वन स्टेप बैकवर्ड्स बट दैट्स ऑल राइट दैट्स हाउ इट वर्क्स व्हेन वी आर इन ह्यूमन फॉर्म एनलाइटनमेंट इज स्लो आर्डुअस रिक्वायरिंग डेडिकेशन एंड डिसिप्लिन it's perfectly fine to rest now and then. You're not really going backwards. You're consolidating and resting. Uh, and we'll finish with the last four lines. Progress is not always linear. Progress is not always linear. 
ये सीढ़ी में आप चढ़ रहे हो उतर रहे हो चल रहे हो उतर रहे हो इट डजेंट हैव टू ऑलवेज कीप यूंग स्ट्रेट बट एक चीज जरूर है जो आपने सीख ली वो आप भूलते नहीं आप उसको शायद यूज करना भूल जाओगे बट यू नेवर फर्गेट इट यू मे बी वेरी एडवांस वेन इट कम्स टू चैरिटी टू कंपैशन बट मोर ऑफ अ नोविस कंसर्निंग एंगर और पेशेंस it is important not to judge yourselves hum me se kitne log bol sakte hain ki main judge nahi karta apne aap ko to bahut judge karte hain dusron ko bhi karte so judge nahi karna if you don't judge yourself or allow others to judge you you will not become frustrated so we will continue this book later let's meditate for a bit while and if there are any sharing reflections we will be doing that also so once again let's close our eyes let's be thankful to this beautiful book for opening new doors giving us hope telling us that we can all become better versions of ourselves we can surrender and we can change the energy and we can go deeper in this world of love and when love is the emotion the energy that we all feel and face then whatever we love will walk easily into our lives whether we term that as manifestation or law of attraction when our right energy good energy is in motion our emotions are going to help us manifest whatever our heart desires if it's in the right space time energy and mind space we are all beings here who are having a human experience in our human experiences there are a lot of ups and downs just the way our heart beat goes up and down so does our life some days are beautiful some days aren't so good some days are average the way our heart is forever beating without stopping the way our pulse is forever moving without stopping the way our breath is forever breathing without stopping so is our life and so so is our cellular energy today on the super moon let's make a list of whatever we wish to release to surrender you can do a mental list right now later on you can do a written list what is it that you want to surrender and give away impatience judging yourself and others frustration not being able to accept anger expectation and we drop them all our expectation from our parents blaming them complaining this is what happened to me because living in a victim mode and we realize that we lived that life because we were meant to learn a lesson and when can we tell all the masters angel guardians and mother earth that whatever i went through knowingly unknowingly i judge i ridiculed expected and today i am ready to let go now i understand that whatever came in my life had to come because on a soul level i had done the contract and i had to experience them and the others just became channels and nimit matra i may not have accepted it then but today i am ready to learn to accept let's drop all the heavy baggage that we are holding on to our shoulders which is making our shoulders and our back so heavy that it can't even stand straight we are burdened down by this burden let's drop all the extra burden that we're carrying and if there's anything else in your in you which you want to release release now maybe you have some kind of ailment 
maybe your knees ache and your maybe your ankles ache maybe your lower back or back hurts maybe you have stomach digestion issues maybe you have weight anywhere in your body these are all baggages that you're holding on and you may become a victim or you may try to understand that this is because of age or this is because of this reason but it is because of our burden that we're carrying let it rest release them completely totally and feel this energy this burden disintegrating toot raha hai aapki body mein solid bana hua tha now it's breaking and feel it releasing from your pores maybe from your hands is going into mother earth maybe from your feet it's going into mother earth just see it dissolve melt away just the way a candle burns and the wax falls but the wax can be seen but your burden is taken so easily by mother earth she's a mother she's here to love us to nurture us and if with love wanting to become more lovelier more love filled if you drop these baggages she is more than happy to take them all in just drop them if any memories are coming to you and you become heart heavy release them if somebody's loss is playing on your mind you've lost somebody lost as in your friendship or your relationship has broken or maybe the person has left mother earth and gone and living in heavens above if those memories are playing heavy on you ask yourself what lesson have i learned your ego may not allow you to connect with that person but your heart wants to connect with the person so put that energy in motion give out that emotion talk to the person as if the person is standing or sitting in front of you even though the person is miles apart maybe in some other realm not even in a human realm but telepathy is important it's known so it will travel just talk to the person release yourself lighten your burden no that once you are healing by forgiving talking there's a lot of healing happening at your cellular atomic level as well just keep releasing you may want to cry do that you may feel some vibration in your body with so much of heaviness just shake up the body just as if you're shaking your body just shake off make your body light just keep shaking yourself if it's too heavy and all of a sudden you'll feel that you're you're feeling lighter better and now think of all that your love life wants what do you love could be anything materialistic at the moment if you want to start with that do that or if you want to go evolve higher from your heart language what is it that you want what is it that your soul wants oneness love maybe you don't like the concept of people talking to each other bitching side talking criticizing so what you don't like is something that you have to re- release and what you like is what you have to expand so if you wish for people to be talking nice stuff living in a very conducive love filled atmosphere visualize that energy imagine that you're seated with those people and all of you are loving all of you are talking from your heart smiling and sense the love energy in the room 
and expand it. Talk to Father Universe and see, I expand this energy, expand my consciousness. And so it is. Whenever you manifest anything, for that, the best key is to see that manifestation, live it, visualize it, feel it, emote it. And that energy multiplies. And for surrender, whatever makes your heart heavy, just shake it off. As if you're wearing a cloak, which is so heavy, as if you're wearing a bag, which is so heavy on your back, just drop it. And this is something we all have to keep repeating, repeatedly do again and again and again and again until we achieve what we wish to desire. Whatever you wish to manifest, manifest. But remember, you can wish and manifest for others, but your energy for yourself works maximum. So if you're manifesting, say, for your life partner, your husband or your wife, see how will it affect you when he or she changes and visualize that. And then automatically, whatever you're wishing for him or her will happen. Enjoy the beautiful feeling. And now fold your hands. Let's request our masters, angels, guardians, guides, teachers, rishis, de and whoever is coming in our, all the channels for helping us become the channels of light and love, of abundance, of growth. Requesting them all to protect us, guard us, guide us, and help us in releasing whatever we require to release, to surrender, and protect us, help us, guide us, and guard us when we manifest whatever we require to expand. And with that beautiful feeling of gratitude, bow your head in gratitude once again. Rub your hands, feel the warmth, the tingling, the feeling of something which is beautiful. Bless your eyes with that. Bless your face with that and your entire body touch it. Once again, top to bottom, bottom to top. Bless every cell of yours and open your eyes with a beautiful smile. May all of you become channels of love, light and energy and abundance. And if there's anything anybody wishes to share, you can just let me know and I can probably just unmute you. Yes, Pratimaji, very much. Please unmute. Yes, Prachi. I was mm -hmm. in a process of doing things here, there, since leaving you. But at this moment, I felt this was something which was required and you came at the right time. So I'm so grateful to you. I think you always come. I don't know whatever be the connection, but you always come when I need you the most. Thank you so much for that. Thank, Thank you, you Brother Maji, for your love, for your blessings. It's always beautiful to have you. And you also give me a, so much of strength. So thank you so much. Thank you for that. Yes, Rinku, you want to share something? Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Prati, uh, for our game being on here. And uh, I think that this morning session is like, you know, a whole day. It's so much fun. And... Uh, I really feel that he knows everything, but as you said, he would, it would be a reminder of my view. So it is really, really beautiful to have you here again and love you. God bless you. Thank you so much, Rinku. God bless you all. And I'm going to see you tomorrow again in our beautiful session. So lots of love to everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow. 
be blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much. <laughs>